Hey everybody, we are back. Now we're looking at stage two. We are with the elite men, Jimmy Woodard. He is going to take on Tack 2 Gun. Turn the camera around. Oops. There we go. As he gets ready, this is quick. It's only three minutes, three minute time cap to get all of the work done. And he is off. So we will start with the pistol. You can hear him shooting the steel. So once you hit the steel, you can move forward. Started strong, had to have a couple more shots. Make sure he hit it. This will be his last portion with his pistol. Have to knock the steel over. Did clearing procedure. Holster. Drop the magazine, holstered, and now he will run to the rifle portion. So this will be really hard to see. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on Jimmy here to look at his strategy. Every miss is a 10 second penalty. Hit. As long as he can get all of the Hit. hits within the three minute time cap, he will be good. So we got two hits, Hit. three hits, Hit. four, Hit. five, Hit. six, He's changing his optics slightly. So way out there, we have a couple of different targets that he needs to engage with. All steel targets. So those are our ROs that are listening for the hit. And then we also have one that is looking also to see what he engages in the steel. Come back over here. Sorry, that's lighting up, is it not? I've got an oil on it. Hit! Yes. Changing magazine again. So athletes can bring as much ammo as they want for these. It just needs to be within the three minutes. So clearing procedure. Pointed down range, pull the trigger. Go and rack it one more time for me. There you go. Pull the trigger. Good job. Just All making right. sure that everything is safe. All right. Range is clear. Time on that. Range is clear. Woo! Here, I'm going gonna, gonna to have you hold this, Jimmy. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're back out here. Back out here. Um, how did the two gun stage feel? Uh, a lot better than I thought. Um, feels like it goes really fast, and then you see your time, and you're like, man, I almost got capped. Um, <laughs> what, what was your time? Here, uh, we'll keep walking so they can get another group going. 167.64. Yeah, so uh, okay, out yeah. of 180 finished, seconds, finished oh. it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> finishing the stage is just uh, a win right there. So, have you talked to some of the other elite competitors to see what their times are like, how many misses they've had? Um, not really. I try to stay in my own lane. Uh, I know the top scores, and uh, so just trying to try to do my thing, put the best foot forward, and see where we stack up. <laughs> This isn't the only type of fitness that you're doing. You also qualified for the Masters CrossFit Games. That's right. How have those two types of training go hand in hand, and how do you train for this and that at the same time? Yeah, so um, right now we're kind of in the middle of tactical games, so I do a lot of dry fire and I go to the range with the wife when I can, but the priority is uh, CrossFit. Um, so basically that transfers over to the fitness here. Um, so I kind of just say CrossFit is <laughs> is how I train for the fitness side of this, mm -hmm. and we throw a little throw a little firearms in there. And congratulations, you're a new dad to Remington. That's right. Yep. You brought him with you. Yep. How's that been so far? Calorie uh, is also competing. It's been good. Um, we've been going back and forth on the bike, trying to 
uh, make sure that someone's with him. Um, her parents are here too, and we, we rented an RV, so uh, everyone's back happy in the AC, uh, which is where I'll be headed here in a couple <laughs> minutes. It's actually probably the best uh, tactical games uh, the, the way we set it up because we don't stay out in the heat it's like we go back and uh, we got a fridge full of stuff and uh, I think we're going to start doing this a more often. Awesome. Jimmy, congratulations. Great to see you Thank and you. good luck the rest of the weekend. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Here, I'll grab the microphone. Woo. Thanks That's... for just bringing that on me because I would have just kind of overthunk it. Yeah, there you go. He didn't even know he was going to be on camera. We got some other people hanging out, some other Athletes, ROs, divisions. See what everybody's doing. Hydrating, staying cool. Hey, we're gonna catch up with our other friend. I'm gonna give you our microphone. Oh yeah. You can just hold it. Just hold okay. it up to your mouth. All right. How's it been ROing? It's great. I love giving back to this community and uh, spending the weekend with these people and enjoying it from this side of it. It's awesome. Oh, and Haley, your 14-year-old daughter who also competes, and a new little baby puppy. <laughs> oh, hello there. Brought yeah. the whole family. How's it been? It's, it's been great. Uh, I've been having so much fun practicing, training, uh, shooting with her, watching her get better and better and better that uh, when we compete together in New Hampshire, Watch out, she's gonna, <laughs> if, if we make the podium, it's because she's carrying me. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna take the microphone because now we're gonna catch up with oh, Haley. Go. Yeah. Take oh, take my dog. Take Switch, take the dog, take the pup. Oh. You compete with your dad. Yeah. Now you are volunteering with your dad? Yeah, I've been volunteering with him since like 2022 in Ohio. So, and then that's when I fell in love with it and I started doing it. What is your favorite part about being out here? Do you kind of get the itch to want to compete? Uh. Not with a 4.4 mile run, no, I do not. Um, <laughs> Me either. <laughs> but uh, it's just fun to help out because, I mean, all the volunteers are the ones that I've worked at have been so good, and I just want to help out as well. Great. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks to both of you and our new little one. What's his name? her name again? Her name's Kala. 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 <gasps> Kala, hello. Say hello to YouTube. Everybody is going to love you. <laughs> I can take the microphone. Thank you. Great to have you guys here. <laughs> hey, who else can we catch up with? Let's see. We're going to go around. Hello, hello. So many friends. Sean, we're going to interview you now. Oh, great. Are you enjoying your experience here? You're our other yep. content creator. I am, yes, very much so. It's a little warm for my northern blood, but uh, I do like it, yeah. What's your favorite type of content to create around tactical games? Dynamic shooting. So like this, we're on the two-game stage. We're moving and shooting, and you've got one person to focus on. Um, it's a lot of fun doing that. But when you got the neck and neck heats, those are fun too. I mean, we started on stage one with... Uh, I think the was it Hefner was in Heat 3? Yep. Uh, those guys going head-to-head -head was pretty cool. Like, I love capturing that stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. some good moments. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Good to see you. One of our content creators on our very small media team. So this is stage two. Elites are now completing this. Let me turn the camera around. Stage three is going to be their run. Um, I am not going to follow them on the 4.4 mile run, so we won't have that on YouTube. But the next one, stage four, you can expect that later this evening. That is when we will capture, as he said, the national champ, Jacob Hepner's heat. So we'll see you guys back then.